Hello YouTube, this is uh, Louisiana Lifestyle Luke Martin. I've been seeing a lot of videos about some skid steers and stuff on YouTube, so hey, I've been using skid steers and all kinds of equipment forever, so I thought I would do one on the case CR310. Uh, I prefer case, we use a lot of case equipment. We use Takeuchi, Cabelco, Mahindra, brands like that but we've always kind of liked our cases uh, they've been really good machines and I was going to do a review on this particular machine that I use I have it at the house uh, been the rain a lot I put out a little sand things like that at the house and clean up after the hurricane I uh, kind of destroyed everything around here but I uh, just wanted to give a quick review on this particular machine uh, I, I see a lot of people talking about the different brands and uh, all that and but I haven't really seen too much about the case uh, on YouTube so it is in my opinion it is it's my favorite I think it's a very very good machine it has got more than enough power it's got uh, different modes it's it has the most uh, technology in it that I've seen out of any of the newer skits here. I believe this is either a, I think this is a 2020. It's either 2019 or 2020 uh, model. Um, it's been I particularly like the machine because it runs, it doesn't run like the old ones. It runs more uh, like the newer case dozers and uh, things like that and uh, you don't use your feet for anything uh, it does have a pedal on the bottom for a throttle if you want to use it I'll get in it and kind of show you in a, in a second uh, this is a, a very used uh, used machine I use it a lot I use it a lot for different different things uh, as you see all that is concrete because we we're I actually uh, almost use it like a Georgia buggy and uh, put concrete in the bucket attachments are real close uh, easy to hook up uh, it's I believe is a very powerful machine I've used a lot of different brands and stuff and it uh, it, uh, it it it's as strong as it can get I mean I don't you can't really it, it'll flip itself over so it, I mean it's it's strong enough to move itself so that, that's what matters really uh, I'll go around to the back first and kind of show you the uh, the doors for the motors and and uh, uh, things like that. The access for it. Uh, this 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 just lifts up pretty sim simply. Uh, it's really easy access to the motor. Uh, there's your fuel. And you check your oil, your oil, your filter. Everything's real easy to get to. It's got a little lever here you pull up on and pull out. I got a keys in my hand and I'm trying to do this with one hand. This is for your hydraulic. And this lifts out. There's your big old radiator uh, and your your uh, fuel filter. For if you get water in your fuel and stuff is right there. It's real easy. Easy to prime. Easy to empty. Uh, your battery's kind of in a weird location. See? Where you can turn your Everything right there. Uh, it's kind of hard. To, that's probably the only thing kind of hard to get to. Uh, uh, I used to not really be much of a fan of the skid steer. I've always just kind of tried to stick with dozers and uh, escalators and backhoes to do most of our stuff. But the one thing I really like about it, how wide this tra these traps are. Uh, so if you're doing stuff in the yard that you don't want to tear up of track without sinking too much or making too much of a rut in the yard and the key in the uh, thing with this it doesn't have a key for the inside the key is only to lock the door uh, on these this is a uh, receipt it's relatively comfortable one thing I don't like about it that I seen is better on some uh, if this boom is up anywhere past uh, this point uh, you can't open the door. So, Case could have done a better design on that, in my opinion. I'm sure they will in the future. Uh, I don't want people complain enough about it. But, 
go over the, you have to lift it down. It's got a lot of technology. Uh, there's that AC and stuff up here. Uh, this is to uh, lock and to change your bucket. You hold this down and you curl your bucket in all the way and there's two, that little red tab right there. It comes up and disconnects your bucket so you can switch from your attachments. You got all these, all these are lights and warning lights. This is your power button. You know, turn this on. Then you hear the stuff come on in here. And then you push the start button. And it cranks the machine. And then you push this button. And that undoes the parking brake and gets it where you can use your I've driven a lot, and uh, they say someone said that the the uh, John Deere or the the uh, Caterpillar is super strong, but you know, I, I've, I've driven most of them, and I don't believe any of them are any stronger than this one. But hey, they may feel something different than me, but it will uh, use that use that foot throttle. And it'll do everything you want it to do. I mean, give it more, give it more juice, and it, it'll pick the whole back end up before it'll stop picking up on the bend. So it's uh, it's really strong. You can see the lights up there. It's uh, it's got lights all the way around, even in the back and stuff. And uh, it does really well. I really enjoy this machine. I can do a lot of things with it. I can pretty up a lot with it, and I love the way it works. One lever is for uh, the bucket, and the other is for driving forward, backward, side to side, everything. So it's uh, as you can see, there's no pedals for it to move anything on the bottom. The old ones you pedal was for your bucket, and your hands were for just for driving. Uh, this one is not like that. The newer ones have a different type. So I thought I'd do a quick video. I keep it around 10 minutes uh, about the K skid steer. Uh, they have a bigger machine. This one weighs 8,000 pounds. Uh, so it's pretty heavy, but it does very well in the yard. It doesn't tear up too much. And uh, I enjoy running it. Now, people who get get them, or some of these guys on YouTube, uh, like to talk. But I use, I use 
equipment every day. I mean, every single day. So, I know a little bit about something, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, just uh, like and subscribe if you uh, like the video. Uh, I'm a small YouTube channel, so uh, all the support I get, I really appreciate it. We're a good Christian uh, family. I'm a single dad with three children, and uh, and uh, the, everything's family friendly. No cussing or anything like that on any of any of our stuff. Anybody can watch any of the stuff we put out. I'm a, I'm a man, so I do a lot of truck stuff and and uh, equipment. And uh, my son and I like to do a lot of riding. You know, we have our uh, four wheelers and our trucks, our truck and the working clay a lot. So please like and subscribe. I appreciate it. And if you got any questions, uh, like, um, comment, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, God bless, and I will catch you on the next one.